Okay, so welcome back to the show, and we have with us a uh, uh, really uh, inspiring uh, music critic, and uh, he's with us right now. And let's let's talk with him. How you doing? What's up, man? How you doing, yo? All right, so tell us about like new music coming out. And how it sucks, it doesn't. Be your man, Robbie, the CD guy. You know, I'll be out and about, in within. You know, trying to find what's in, what's out. Michelle. Yeah, I found a lot of good bands today, yesterday, the other day, but you know, something happened to me mind-boggling. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know how it is when you find up-and-coming artists that just trying to get enough to eat, get enough to to pay where they sleep. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. Times, you know. Well, you know, um, you know me. You know, you know I like to eat a lot of beans and salsa and shit. So long story short, I went to the, my local 99 cent store and um, picked up a pack of toilet paper, actually two packs, you know, four rolls for a dollar. Walking down the, uh, the aisle, I saw a pile, you know, they had a pile of CDs and uh, uh, the pile of CDs was like, uh, it was wild. They had dollar CDs and uh, they had like these Jews rapping and shit. And they had uh, all these old bands from the 90s that nobody ever heard of from Seattle grunge type shit i just looked at the other pile and it said four for a dollar so i saw this it looked interesting it said techno suicide never heard of him some russian dude i looked at this thing it looked as stupid as hell the cover you know it looked like a like a five-year-old did it on on photoshop or some bullshit you know what i'm saying so i said uh you know i thought it was like kind of metal kind of electronic kind of hip-hop or something i don't know what it was Techno suicide, something like some bullshit, but you know, you know me, the music connoisseur I am. You know, I've always been a music consumer. So I stole the bullshit, you know? Stole that bullshit, took it home, listened to the shit, repackaged it, took it back and put the quarter. You know what I'm saying? Gave them the quarter and, and admitted that I stole it. Cause this shit was bullshit. I offered them the fucking $5 worth of quarters to take all the CDs and burn them. Having you like favorite tracks from it? How I am here right now. I am ready to kill you. No, like no. You should be in the band, dude. Yeah, I try to contact this son of a bitch. Uh, turns out he's living in a nudist commune in, in Nebraska or some bullshit. And he's giving the CDs away for free to 99 cent stores, you know, because nobody wants them. And, um, you know, this dude is, I heard he got a, a huge Santa Claus beard and he's only like 20, you know. And, um, you know, it's, it's a bunch of nonsense around this. I can't even think about it. it mind boggles me, you know. Then I heard he has an 800 pound boyfriend. It's crazy, dude. Then I heard he's a direct descendant of Rasputin. And that's how he lives in a hippie commune with a beard to his knees, and he's 20. I would like to talk to this douchebag, but he's unreachable. Yeah, he's pretty hard to get. We'll try to get him on the show. Yeah, it's impossible. This guy. Yeah, he's a douche. <laughs> I heard his shit. He's just like, dun, 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 dun. Uh, I can't even uh, comprehend who would even try to make this crap, you know? Uh, sounds like a million buttholes farting at once, you know, and I don't even know if it's mind boggling, you know, I'm, it's like it's this shit is so bogus, you know what I'm saying? Thumbs down for techno suicide. <laughs>